Community groups in the South Bronx want to clear the air. With high rates of asthma and air pollution in neighborhoods, they're taking matters into their own hands. CBS 2's Shosh Bedrosian reports from the Mott Haven section. If you live in the South Bronx, you've probably wondered what these gray boxes are that are now hanging on elevated locations throughout this neighborhood. But what if I told you it's designed to make this community better in ways that have never been done before? Members of South Bronx Unite are hard at work installing 25 of these gray boxes around the borough. This monitor in here will measure particulate matter. These are air quality monitors. Intake. A new way the group is taking matters into their own hands to force policy and legislation changes by tracking the pollution levels they say plagues their community. We can no longer live in these circumstances and in these environmental conditions where we're subject to having poor health and we're subject to not having enough resources or funding. We need to, to raise our voice and advocate for more. CBS2 News has extensively reported on the high rates of asthma residents in the borough face with ER visits for children in some neighborhoods 20 times higher, according to the city. You can see the traffic behind me. It's pretty stagnant. It's, it's continuous. The emissions coming from these vehicles are polluting the air. But we need research to really tell that story. South Bronx Unite says they're placing these monitors in highly trafficked areas. And in this case, we're down the street from a waste disposal site where many of these diesel trucks are putting toxins and pollutants back into the air. The group is making the information accessible to all residents in real time just by scanning a QR code located at each monitor. We have to change it. Our children are requiring and are expecting us to do everything we can to change how they're breathing and what they're breathing. In Mott Haven, the Bronx, Shosh Bedrosian, CBS 2 News. Shosh is our community reporter for the Bronx. If you have any story ideas, you can reach out to her at bronxtip at cbs.com.